Anand, another victory in the eighth round. Can you tell us more about this game? Uh, <clears throat> it was a very complicated game. I mean, I expected him to play the Petrov and I tried to catch him a little bit off guard. Um, I would say that uh, he was doing okay. He missed a, uh, a night maneuver of mine where I swing my knight around to the fifth rank. And uh, he clearly missed the exchange sacrifice. And uh, this is very powerful, very similar motifs to the Grunfeld and things like that because you get this huge pawn center and um, that's more than worth the exchange. In time pressure, we, well, I don't know, maybe we played very well, but uh, I would have to check. But uh, once the, we had reached the, the 40th, I mean, once we had made the time control, then I could uh, calm down a bit, and then I realized that I'm just winning. You are only half a point behind the Magnus Carlsen, and one more round to go. What are your expectations? Well, I just play like every game. Um, Obviously, tomorrow will be a bit tense. Also, we start uh, an hour early, but uh, okay, I'll try to play well. Carlson, what do you generally think about this tournament? How did this tournament go for you? Uh, so far it's good, but it can all change <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> very glad to be in this tournament and I started playing my best. And uh, at start it went very well, but somehow in the second half uh, things just went very badly and I was fortunate today to uh, save the game. And you know, there's one, one, one more game tomorrow and just have to Give, give my best, but at um, the same time, I'd like to congratulate Magnus because it seems that uh, how things are going right now, it just uh, seems, I mean, it's clear that he's going to win the tournament. I mean, of course, it all depends on because Vichy is still playing today, but uh, yeah, it's been a very dominating tournament for him. And um, no, still, as he said, still one more game tomorrow. Michael, finally a victory against uh, Anish Giri. Can you tell us more about this game? Uh, yeah, well, finally something to be a bit cheerful about. Um, yeah, I mean, actually, well, he didn't play too well today. Um, he gave me some, some nice opportunities and then it was quite easy to play. I had a very nice attack and uh, everything was flowing well. So, uh, fortunately, I was able to uh, not to mess it up and to, uh, to win the game. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to at least win one game whilst I'm here. So, eight rounds are over. Are you happy with your performance here? Um, no, I mean, obviously not. Uh, 
Um, I think the, the game I lost with Kramnik in the first game, first round, was, you know, I think he played quite well. The game against Wesley, so I, I really blundered badly in a decent position. My game with uh, Vichy yesterday was also very interesting, actually. Um, no, I think he played quite well. It, it was quite a complicated game. Perhaps he assessed it a little bit better than me. Um, so, but I, I think probably the game against Wesley so I'm most disappointed with out of my three losses. No, I mean, of course, minus two is, is not good, but it's also not a disaster against such strong opposition. Okay, nothing bad happens, but with me, just like, you know, I'm simply lost immediately, which is from, from equal position. So it was also a little bit unlucky, because I think that everybody miscalculates a bit or blunders something. I mean, Magnus in the first round just blundered the pawn, more or less, but still it was fightable. Somehow I managed to, to um, blunder in such a way that I cannot save the game anymore, yeah? so But all in all, it's clear that my shape was not great. I mean, it was not that bad i think not as bad as my result but uh, was not great and uh, i should uh, of course definitely work on my physical shape and on my on my calculation skills with <laughs>